Yes, and uh, so let's start with the uh, product updates. And since this is uh, the first webinar since December, we have quite a long list. So I will not bore you with all the uh, the little details. You can can read them on the screen, uh, but we'll dive into the to the demo, and then uh, I highlight a few uh, important points. Um, the first thing that I want to show you is the improvements that we made to the dossier panel. So typically what you see is that uh, stories are organized in dossiers, so the article and the images. But in many cases, the layout is managed outside of the dossier. And so multiple stories are then placed uh, on, this, uh, on this page. So here we see, for example, a story about a snowy day and um, a story about uh, Corona, and um, if I want to work with this uh, with this page, I want to have a dossier panel that gives me instant access to all the material that's placed on the page. So in the past, this only showed the dossiers uh, if the layout was actually in the dossier. And now it also shows the dossiers of the placed files. And what's interesting to see is that uh, the selection within the panel follows the selection on the page. So if I select this image, I can then immediately see, okay, which additional images were selected for this uh, story, and maybe I can swap out a, uh, an image. Another interesting thing is that this we have the go to placement option. So if you use a shift command click on, uh, on Mac, for example, the page is automatically scrolled to that uh, particular image or to a uh, component, for example, of the article. So this gives you all the uh, yeah, information directly available. You do not have to search for uh, the right dossiers. Uh, automatically, the, the relevant dossiers are shown in the dossier panel, depending on the layout. Um, the next thing that I want to show you are improvements in the uh, behavior of uh, yeah of the digital editor so what we added is the ability to select multiple components at once uh, you can do this for example with your mouse so if i use uh, shift click i can for example select these three uh, paragraphs or i can use my um, keyboard to make a selection and then i can use the drag handle here on the right top to drag these components to another spot uh, in the article. So, when while we were working on these uh, improvements, we also improved the uh, hover uh, and, and selection behavior of, of components. So here you see the blue outline, for example. Uh, also, we now show the uh, the container name, for example. So this has been improved. And uh, a last but interesting thing is that you can now also copy components. So if you drag a component while holding the uh, operator or option key, you see that it changed into a copy. So if I then drop it, you see that the component is actually copied and then I can make changes to it. Um, so then an other important, uh, more technical thing is that we changed the published message itself. It now also contains uh, custom data. So you can uh, add custom data, custom scripts, for example, to your component set. Those are then packaged along uh, in the uh, published message. So you can uh, push conversion scripts uh, downstream, for, for example. And we added information about the component set itself. So the components and their fields. So also this makes it easier to create uh, conversion scripts. Then important one, uh, so the tenant ID will be renamed to uh, system ID. Um, so at the moment, both fields are available in the purpose message. This is uh, until May 1st, after which the tenant ID will be uh, removed. Then in the publication overview, we did a small thing um, for 
a particular scenario that in some cases, uh, let me quickly show you that, uh, a spread up is built up from two pages. So in this case, it's layout P2 and layout P3. And then um, if you want to forward that page to another user, uh, it was not clear which page you would actually send. And now you can actually say, okay, I want to send page three or I would like to send page two. Um, then for Studio, uh, we're also working, or for the InDesign plugins, we're also working on InDesign 2021. A pre-release is available uh, on Help Center for, uh, for you to uh, test out. Uh, official release is uh, scheduled for the end of this quarter. We're currently um, yeah, doing the full regression test. Then we released Studio Server 10.12. Uh, so here we uh, upgraded uh, PHP and we added, uh, did already the preparations for in the, uh, InDesign 2021. Uh, also new APIs are available for a journal designer. Uh, which makes it easier to integrate Journal Designer with uh, Studio. So uh, with these new APIs, it's no longer needed that Journal Designer has access to the uh, database and file store. And we did some uh, some housekeeping and cleaned up some uh, some code which was no longer needed. Then let's have a look at assets. Uh, so important thing is that we now also support uh, metadata sync from the master to the child. So this is uh, the uh, original asset. And here I have two production copies. And actually, if we look at the copyright field, you see that I'm not allowed to change this on the child. I'm only allowed to change this via the master. So this is optional. So uh, you can define which metadata fields are bidirectional and which metadata fields are only can only be updated from the master and then uh, copied to the to the child and this makes it very easy to work with uh, yeah image variants or yeah, uh, channel specific versions of, uh, of images another very interesting feature is the ability to configure external action plugins so up to now, the uh, plugins needed to be installed on the asset server itself. Um, with the addition of external action plugins, you can host your um, front-end integrations on an external location. And uh, this makes it a lot easier to manage your external integrations. Okay. And then one, two other th uh, interesting things is that we added the ability to stop and continue the re-indexing process. So in some cases, this can take a long time during an upgrade. So you can uh, pause it and continue uh, during the night. And we picked up a uh, request from the feedback forum. Uh, so we extended the, uh, the search API um, with the option to exclude uh, thumbnails of collections. Uh, thank you very much for this uh, for this feedback. And uh, lastly, the uh, wrapper conf has uh, has been split into a wrapper conf and a wrapper custom conf. So this makes it easier to uh, to upgrade an assets system. Then let's go to the uh, short term roadmap. So for Studio, we are adding the ability to also copy and paste components using the um, keyboard shortcuts, commands uh, X, C, and V. Uh, we added a small improvement to copy conversion rules to another brand. And we are working on the installability of the Studio Desktop application. Um, so this, what this will allow us to do is to automatically install updates. Uh, it's similar to Chrome, for example. Uh, if you as a system administrator uh, do not want this, then you can of course disable it. Uh, then we're making improvement to the archiving. So this is the status-based archiving next to the time-based archiving. And we're making some performance improvements in the uh, 
in Design Server Preview Generation. Uh, beyond that, we are looking into support for uh, digital tables. So if you are interested in that topic, uh, please reach out to me. And uh, so mid next mid this year, we plan to start with the synchronization of digital to print content so do, that you can have a parallel workflow um, working uh, with content first and print content at the same time. Uh, for assets, we're making the watermark uh, configurable, so the size and the opacity. Um, we are finishing up the uh, folder permissions. It's a typo, it should, should be 662, of course. Uh, so the folder permissions are uh, finished. We're adding one little thing, uh, which is wildcard support for the configuring of the folders. And we've started to work on the uh, bookmarks feature, which is a combination of a safe search and the perspective. And if you're interested in the specifications, also please have a look at the uh, community. And then for EOS, uh, so for Studio, we are working on uh, front end integrations, uh, also configuring front end integrations via the management console, similar to what I showed you uh, for assets. Uh, we're adding support for very large uh, assets customers and we're working on event-based integrations for, uh, for Woodwing Studio. Uh, 